Hi, everybody. I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker. And tonight, my special guest is Joette Lutrec. And Joe's here with us. And she's going to make us swag and some fun projects. And I'm going to show you how to make some simple bows. So the first thing I'm going to do is get started. I'm going to go to my overhead camera and show you how to make what is really probably one of our absolute simplest bows. So I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire and I'm going to cut a piece that's long enough that I can fold it in half and lay it down into my Bodabra and tuck the end underneath. And then what I'm going to do is I have these really pretty dollar store flowers. I'm just going to lay those down into my Bodabra. And this is a bow that's made literally from scraps of ribbon. So I'm just going to lay this in here. And I've already dovetailed the end so they have like a finished look. And we'll lay that down in there. And thank you, everybody, for the hearts and the love. I appreciate it. And so does Joette. And we'll just keep laying these down in here. And just sort of shaping it a little bit as I go. And keep going here. And we have Joy Teasley from Texas. Oh, I almost forgot. Everybody, we will be giving away a roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. It'll either be the silver ribbon or the red ribbon or the gold. So all you have to do is say where you're watching from. And it doesn't matter if you're watching us on YouTube or Facebook. You still will have the opportunity to win. And we're going to put this here. So we will pick one winner towards the end of the show. Lay that down in there. Then I have no idea what I did with my wand. So I'm just going to pull this up. Now, when I first made my loop, my bow, I folded it in half, laid it down into my bow dabra. And now I'm just going to pull it through my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in the bow dabra, pull it out so this way I'm not struggling at all, and separate my ends, bring them around to the back. And this is what I love about our bow dabra bow wire is I can tie it very tightly and tie a knot. Now I'll leave my wire. And now all we're going to do is shape out. And I just love this is some of our really fun beautiful spring ribbon and we're just going to bring our flowers up here bring these flowers up and just keep shaping and I'll bring these flowers here and I think this could be very pretty um, as a wreath bow or even for a spring house warming gift so isn't that just so super pretty and it was so super simple to make. So let me know what you think. And thank you, everybody, for letting me know where you're watching from. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to Joette. And Joette is going to make a big swag, I believe. I am. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Uh, be sure to share so uh, everybody can see how easily you can make this large home decor in your Bodabra. There's not a lot to it, and you're going to be surprised how easy it is. I'm going to start out. I've cut a length of whatever bow wire, a little bit longer than normal, folded it in half, and I'm tucking it underneath and out of the way. And I've got some of uh, this mesh. Well, it's this is cloth. It's waterproof. You could use deco mesh. You could use burlap or anything. And this is probably a little over a yard. What I do is I get the ends under curled underneath about three times so there's no fraying and then you find the center and you place it down in your bodabra and just scrunchy style it in and just like this when you get to the other end go ahead and curl it under a few times and then gail thank flat. you so much she said she loves our videos and it gives her thank great you. ideas thank you uh, i did like sandy taught me I just used it on the roll like that because it goes so much smoother than having a loose piece of deco mesh <laughs> grabbing everything. That's so much easier. Thanks for showing me that trick, Sandy, because I would have never done it that way. So You're very I went welcome. to an <laughs> I went to an estate sale the other day and I got some flowers and I've got some um, greenery. 
and the piece of greenery I have is going to actually do like three projects. So what I'm doing before I get off track here, I wanted to show you this. We're going to make one of these. Um, it, you know how people have double French doors for their porch? I'm making a matching one. So I've got this one, and I'm going to try to make it go the opposite direction. I'm not good at that. I always end up with them going the same way. But what I'm doing is I'm taking some of the greenery, and then I'm going to take one branch and fold it over. And actually, I want to go the opposite direction because that would be the other way. So I'm going to fold this put this down in my bodabra and then this will actually hold it and it won't let it fall out so i started with the top and then i'm going to put the bottom piece in i've already chopped off um, a bunch of it to put in this one so i'm going to put this in and this is going to be our cascade so we're doing a door swag and we want it cascading really pretty i'm going to you don't even have to cut the stems off if you don't want to. They hide inside. Someone's asking. Someone's asking whose hand is on your left side, but honestly, I have no idea what where she. It's Carolyn is seeing it, but I don't know what she's asking. A hand? Is there a yeah, hand on my see left one. side? Yeah, I don't it's see Lex one. It's Lexi. Lexi's oh. here, everybody. <laughs> Say hi to Lexi. She's from our Bodabra Design team. She's our team designer. Um, she's our fourth hand. Bodabra's our third hand. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I've got another piece of greenery. This is Dollar Store or Dollar Tree greenery. I'm folding it in half and I'm placing it down. Just pull, split it. I'm putting it in the center of the Bodabra. And now I've got this came from the estate sale. It's just a bush uh, and it kind of it's long and linear. So I'm going to place this down in the Bodabra and I'm splitting it again. If you can see that, this keeps it from slipping out of the Bodabra bow wire once you get it built. So I've got this some random orange and dogwood flowers and I've cut the greenery off some of them because I didn't want to be trying to chop these thick stems on camera. But I'm taking one dogwood, I want it longer, I'm placing it down, I folded the end in half or just bent it over, it's not in half. And I'm placing that loop down on the Bodabra. I've got this orange one, I'd cut the bloom off of it. This is the bud and there's some foliage, so I'm just gonna leave that on there because it'll, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off because that's too much, but I'll have it in the, this is what I didn't wanna do on camera. These things are, well, that wasn't as bad as it <laughs> was before. I'm hanging them in to the Bodabra. There's the foliage, I wanna go ahead and place this in. And then I've got, what I'm doing, I'm working on the bottom and I'm working on the top. And if I have a piece of foliage to fold over to the other side, I'm always grabbing that to the other side. This one doesn't have one, but it's thick enough it should stay. So now I've got two pieces of dogwood. I'm going to pull the two shorter pieces this way. And the two, the two longer pieces I'm going to put this way. So that kind of equals them out and it keeps them locked in there. This is the bloom. It was on with the bud and it does have some foliage. I'm gonna place this in here. And the last piece is another bud and I'm gonna bend it a little. Just give it a little hook there so it catches. Well, now we're going to build our bow. Now you could tie it up like this right now or you can build your bow in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and build the bow in here. I'm gonna start out by adding my tails. I've got a yard and a half of pre dovetailed burlap. This is our Bodabra burlap. It's really nice. It has two sides. You'll be able to see where it was stitched on one side. That's the wrong side. So you want your right side facing up. Place those tails in. And if you're interested in this, Bodabra has 50 yard rolls of this orange and burlap, natural burlap that I'm using. That's the two and a half inch wide. And this is the one and a half inch wide. So again, I'm gonna find my right side, fold it in half, and place these tails on top of the burlap. This is the ribbon I had for another project. It's a nice wired ribbon. It looks like it's one inch wide. It's just a checkered ribbon, but it's really thick and wired. I'm gonna go ahead and place that in because I can take this and curl it. This is, I think, a ferrous silk ribbon. 
So just I'll curl it when we're done. Next, we're going to build our bow. We're going to start out with our two and a half inch wide natural burlap. We're going to take the wrong side, twist it, and have the wrong side facing up. And we're just going to make probably about five inch loops. We're going to do the twist and fold. Twist and fold. If you're not already a member of our Bodabra design team, um, when we're off the air here, why don't you go over there and join, answer a few questions, and you will uh, be able to share your Bodabra creations with us. And I think you meant if you're, Joette, I think you meant to say if you're not a member of our Facebook fan gallery. Oh, I did. That's what I meant. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. <laughs> our design team. Well, we could use some design team members also. That's what I said. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and get as many loops out of this as I can. It may not be exactly like I had on the other, but it's not going to matter because they're still going to be matchy matchy. So I need my Bodabra bow wand. It should be laying here somewhere. Yeah, I did say Bodabra fan gallery. All right. So we've got the loops on the two and a half inch wide burlap done. I left off here, so I'm going to pick back up on the opposite side with the orange. Make sure I have the wrong side up so I can twist and fold. And we're going to go in just a little bit smaller. Twist and fold. We also have tons and tons of free tutorials waiting for you on the Bodabra blog and over 800 videos on our YouTube. And twist and fold. Also, be sure to comment where you're watching from for a chance to win a roll of that Bodabra scrunchie ribbon Sandy showed you at the beginning. So twist and fold. All right. So now, I'm going to go ahead and scrunch it. If Sandy also showed me that if the towers get full like this, you want to go ahead and you might need to separate them to do a scrunch. Okay, and last, we're going to put some more of this checked ribbon. I don't know if you can see how much stuff I have in that, but it holds quite a bit. So we're going to take this and we're going to make like a shoe bow. I'm going to find the center. And there it is. Let's scrunch that down. I'm going to put it in upside down. And I'm going to just like I'm tying a shoe, but without the knotting part. Let's get my loops how I want them. Scrunch them. And now ready to tie it up. So I'm going to reach under here. I'm going to get my whatever bow wire. I'm going to take my loose ends and thread them through the loop down. I'm going to pull it every, everything really tight while it's still in the Bodabra, while it's holding it for me. And actually, just so you guys know, it, it the Joette put a lot of stuff in there. So she's using okay. her hands to actually help hold it down. But once she ties it off, then it comes out really easily. Yeah, and the, a part of that is because I have that thick ribbon in here. It was going to pull up. So I'm going to take those loose ends, I'm going to pull them to the back, and I'm going to, I've got to come directly to the back, where I, okay, look like I was going over a leaf or something. I'm going to tie it up nice and tight, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a little bit of a fluffing, but I'm not done. I don't normally do a lot of hot gluing. But this little piece, I'm going to do a few pieces of hot glue into it. I'm going to go ahead and cut this out because I didn't need it. I always cut my ribbon just a little bit longer in case. Just in case. So I'm going to fluff these loops out. I'm going to pull these down. And I've got this. And after Joette right. makes this big, huge project here, <laughs> then what I'm going to do is make a little tiny mini bow for St. Patrick's Day in the mini Bodabra. I always do the big stuff and she does the loose stuff. <laughs> okay, so this ribbon is, that was so heavy, it curls and it holds its curl pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that curl and get it out of my way. Get these shorter pieces up in here. Those are about a yard and a half on the tails. And I've got about two yards of ribbon. 
Okay, so normally I don't hot glue, like I said. Pull this out of the way. But in this case, it's it's not going to hurt. I'm going to put glue in one of these carrots to the center of the bow. Find that center. And I'm going to put, since I have this carrot going that way, I'm going to get the carrot on this one going that way. And I could have made it in there, but the stick that it's on is not long enough. So I'm going to glue it in carefully. I don't want to burn my hand on camera. I'm going to stick this in here behind the bow. Get it lodged in there. Hold it for just a second. Hold both of them. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and give it one more little fluffing because next, when I was cutting that greenery up, I had some little pieces that weren't even going to show. So I said, why not? I'm not going to waste them. So I'm going to glue them in the bow and make it a little bit fuller, make it a little, a little bit more finished looking. So I'm just Charlotte, gonna... Charlotte just asked if um, you have to buy each of the bodabers separate or do we have them together? If you go to Amazon, we actually have them together. It's called a bow 2600. Again, that's bow 2600. And that has all the bodabra items. It has the mini bodabra, the regular bodabra, the hair bow tool, and 100 yards of bodabra bow wire. So that's a great way to purchase it. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah, because a lot of people don't know which one they're buying sometimes. So, and then you end up using both anyway. That's a good deal. Okay, so I'm just taking these little pieces and I'm hot gluing them into the bow. And it's going to just give it a little added touch. And it's also going to hold your ribbon in place. It won't be, be as bendy. It'll give it some more stiffness. Okay, last one. I normally dip this, but I didn't have my skillet out. So I'm using the glue gun. All right, that's it. So we have this beautiful matching door swag. I do need to probably get the tails a little bit more even and make them match, but I don't know if you can see that, but we have two. Looks gorgeous. That's, thank you. Get it a little Looks closer. Really pretty. And how it so, took us just a few minutes to make this. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to make a really, I'm going to use this beautiful, let me go to my overhead camera because I think it'll be easier to see what I'm doing. Um, here we go. So this is our beautiful St. Patrick's Day ribbon. And at bodabra.com, we have all the different seasons of ribbon. So I'm just going to dovetail the ends here and take this one and dovetail it. Because people are always asking, you know, can you make a big bow in the mini Bodabra? Well, you can't make a huge bow, but you can make a big bow. So I think I want to use, actually, let's use gold because it's like a pot of gold. And I'm just going to cut a piece of my wire and fold it in half and just lay that down into my mini Bodabra and just tuck the ends underneath. For anybody that's not familiar with the Bodabra, underneath here, there are springs, so it's automatically going to adjust to what I put in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this in half so my and go right in the center and just scrunch that down into my mini Bodabra. Then I'm going to take, we'll make a graduated bow. So I'm just going to bring this back over here and make a loop. And then we'll fold it back over here and loop it. And I just want to measure that the loops are the same size, which they are. And we do have the ruler for the mini. So now we'll graduate that in and just make that a little bit smaller. So this will be like a five loop bow. And then I'm just going to make my final loop. And we're going to again make that about maybe two fingers in. And just scrunch that in. That's going to be our center loop or our button loop. And we'll just put that there. Take my Bodabra wand, my mini wand, scrunch everything down and bring this up. Pull it through my slip knot. Pull it tight while it's still in the Bodabra. 
Vicky says she loved that door swag. I think it was absolutely gorgeous. And it's something that Joette is the best person to teach because she loves making those absolutely humongous projects. Thank you, Vicky. Yeah, the bigger, the better. <laughs> I know. And now I'm just going to shape out my loops. And this here. And bring down my tails. Whoops. And you just have a really simple, super, super easy bow to make. Now, Joette, what do you want to make next? I have a lantern swag, an Easter lantern swag I can make for the season. Okay. Sounds perfect. So now Joette's going to make an Easter lantern swag. Sandy, that's so adorable. You could pin that on on St. Patrick's Day and not get pinched. There you go. Just make a simple green. <laughs> well, this we've got the Easter egg ribbon. It's available on whatever.com. And I'm going to take a length of whatever bow wire. I'm going to, again, make it a little bit longer so I have enough to tie around the lantern. Let's set that aside. Fold this in half and place it down in the large badabra. Put those in underneath and out of the way. And I'm going to start out by using this tail. It is about, it's a half a yard. I've already dovetailed it, and I'm going to place the ends down in the badabra. And I'm going to go ahead and start placing, this is some more of that greenery that I had cut from that big piece that was one, two, three. Three pieces out of that $2 estate sale find. So I'm going to place, I'm going to have an up, a upside and a downside. So I want my tails or the downside to cascade. So I'm going to place these in. And again, I'm pulling the leaves back and putting the bottom row into the bodabra to help secure it. All right. Next, I'm just using some dollar store flowers now. And this isn't even a whole bush. I've whacked on it for something. So I'm going to place that in in my cascade. And I've got some of these little double ruffles. I'm going to fold this bush in half. I want my shorter pieces. There they are. I want my shorter pieces up at the top and the longer pieces cascading as well. And now I've got a hydrangea bush and a little poppy bush. And I'm, I've already I snipped a little bit of that big clunky stem off and I'm going to place the blue at the top, the yellow at the bottom. And I'm getting them up nice and close so they'll cluster for me so they won't have to be so, I don't have to have it as long because our lantern is not that big. So, that's our lantern. So what I'm going to do next is put, make a, it's going to be a twist and fold bow. And again, you can make your bow separate or you can make it right on top of your swag. So I'm taking my plain side, the wrong side, I'm going to twist and make that loop come over and it's going to bring my pretty side up. And these loops are probably about three, three and a half inches. And I'm just going to however many I can get. And then I'll probably show you how to do the button loop on this one. So again, I'm just going to twist and fold, keeping that right side up. Twist and fold. And I'm pretty much keeping my, on this these two rows, I'm keeping my loops the same length. But I'm probably going to have to shrink them in. So when I get down to this piece and I have, I don't know if they're going to be the same length or not. Instead of having to keep wrinkling my ribbon up, I'm making a circle. I'm going to go ahead and place that overhang in, about a half inch overhang. Place that in. So I did not have enough for a button loop, but that's okay. I've got other stuff to place into this bodabra. I've got, not only did I go to the an estate sale, I went to the thrift store. I've got this little butt bunny on a swing. So I'm going to lay that's this adorable. in here. <laughs> it's so cute. And then I'm going to take my yellow flower on the blue side, and my, I cut these off the bushes, by the way, and I'm gonna take my blue flower and place it on the yellow flower side. And I'm just gonna tie it up. Now I'm going, since that's on a rope, I'm gonna go under the rope to make sure- We have bunny... our winner, it's Gail Keith Morlock Davis. Oh, so congratulations. Gail, congratulations. And just go ahead and uh, PM us on Bodabra on Facebook. And we'll get your mailing address and you let us know whether you want the gold, 
the green or the red, I mean, not green, gold, silver, or red <laughs> Spodaver scrunchie ribbon. Yes, congratulations. All right, so I just pulled, to pull this tight while it was still down in the Bodabra. And now I'm just bringing the loose ends to the back and tying them tight in a knot. And I'm gonna go ahead and tie it onto my, find my end. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna tie it onto my lantern and then I'm gonna fluff it. So but it, just, it depends, all these lanterns are different. So you gotta find which way you wanna tie yours. You may have to tie it on a loop. You may be able to tie it around the chimney. But I'm just gonna tie it into a bow because I like to change these out for the season and it's not really gonna show where I would put it. So that's just tied into a little shoe bow. So now I'm just gonna fluff it out. I wanna bring my tails down. I should have another tail in there. There it is. Bring my tails down and I'm straighten the little bunny and just start fluffing everything out. Pull my outer, the larger loops to the outer side and my shorter loops that I made. I want those good to go to the inside. Just round them out. Hide that center with these flowers and just make sure you. I kind of like mine to go from, go over to the, that's can my right. Can you point that more towards the camera so everybody can see? Yeah, sorry, I was trying to fluff it up real quick. And anyway, once you get it all fluffed up and get your, you, your, Carrie's your casting, asking if we ever make a wedding project or a bouquet. Yes, Carrie, we do. In fact, we were just talking about that today. We have a whole <laughs> wedding design group of videos series. that we just have to finish editing. Yeah. We so. have a whole entire series and you you just got me, uh, I have to do it, I have to get it finished now because it was, <laughs> I have to, so everybody can but enjoy we'll try that to do and something. learn. Carrie, if you join us next week, we'll try to do something, um, do a wedding project next week for you. Okay, so I can't, I'm fluffing it upside down, <laughs> kind of, I mean, backwards, I can't see what I'm doing, but it's No, that looks beautiful. Pretty. It does. Uh, anyway, I don't want my lantern covered, but I do want to pull some to the other little bit over that way. Anyway, it's not filled in perfectly because I can't see what I'm doing. But this is really, really easy. You just want to make sure your little, if you hang something in it, your little bunny's showing. And you want to bend and manipulate your flowers to because they're silk, they're wired, so you can actually bend and manipulate them and get them going in the directions you want them. Just make sure your bow's fluff. That's real important. You can have the most beautiful arrangement, but if your bow's not perfectly fluffed, it's not gonna look as pretty as it should. And that's it. There's our well, little lantern you. swag. That yeah, was so I'm sad pretty. You can't, wish you could see it better, but. Well, we uh, can I see got, it, it's really pretty. Well, I didn't mean to cover the lantern up so much. I'll have to uh -huh. fix it up and take pictures of it so everybody can see it. No, it looks beautiful. So Carrie's getting married July 7th. Oh, Carrie will definitely um, show you how to make centerpieces and bouquets. In fact, if you join us next Monday, Joette will make a um, a wedding centerpiece and also a bouquet because it's so yeah. super simple. And corsages are super simple too. Yeah, definitely. And we have all those in our how-to, but... Um, we have to get it done so that you can actually see it and do the how-to. <laughs> but again, I cannot believe how fun and how quickly this half hour goes by. But I want to thank everybody. I think what we're going to do, we just have a couple more minutes. So I'm going to make one more bow real quickly here. And let's see what we can do here. So we'll go up to my overhead camera. And, oh, Ariana got one. A week ago. Oh, awesome. I'm so excited for you. So now I'm just going to take some of my bow dabber bow wire and take a piece long enough and I'll use the regular bow dabber for this one. And I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm going to make, let's stick with my St. Patrick's Day theme. So I'm going to grab this St. Patrick's Day ribbon, which I just love. I think it's so pretty. And what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and clip a piece here. And I'm going to just dovetail the ends. Whoops, I almost did that the wrong way and gave a point instead of a dovetail. Has anybody ever done that? I can't stand when I do that. Um, yes. 
yes, there is a mini version of the Bow Dabra, and it's great because it makes itty bitty bows. In fact, you can see the two next to each other and how little the mini is compared to the big one. They're just, it's tiny. So now we're just this under here. Whoops, there goes my wire. Let's go back and fold that back in half, lay that down into my Bow Dabra. Then I'm going to take my ribbon here, fold it in half, and just lay my tails down. So I think it's most efficient to make the tails first. Then I'm gonna take about one, maybe two yards of my ribbon. And now I'm just going to make a loopy bow. So we're gonna twist it and lay that down so that the wrong side or the ugly side of my ribbon is on the inside of my loop. And we're just going to fold this back over, twist it. So again, the wrong side of my ribbon, and I'm just gonna measure that these are the right length they are. So now I'm gonna just fold this over. Um, and let's do this here. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to work the camera and my, my software at the same time. So we're gonna fold this back over and fold it back over here. And I'm just going to make one more loop there. And then I'm going to take, I love this little, this ribbon here. So I'm just going to make a small bow in the middle. And we'll just fold that back. And so again, I'm just folding and twisting and twist. And how many loops do I have? I want to do one more loop on each side so I have even six loops. And bring that back over. And then now I'm gonna make my little button loop in the center. And I'm just gonna cut enough of this so that it's not gonna pop out of my bow dabber. And again, I have, oh, here's my wand, we found it. So now I'm just going to scrunch everything down into my bow dabber. And again, I, I thank you guys all the time for anybody who's purchasing directly from bowdabber.com. We really appreciate it. And we have some gorgeous ribbons on there now. So we're just gonna pull that tight through my slip knot, pull it out of my bow dabra. I'm gonna separate my ends, bring it around to the back. And I'm just going to tie a knot and tie another knot. And now I'm just going to clip this piece because we don't need it. Cut that off. Bring my tails down. Tails down here. And I'm just going to puff out because this is a wired ribbon. So I can just puff out my loops and bring this loop to the center and puff out my inner loops here. So this makes a great Valentine's Day, I mean Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day wreath bow. Um, so isn't that pretty? I think it came out so pretty. And then we'll show it's you. It's absolutely remember gorgeous. We made, thank you, Joette. We made this one mm -hmm. to begin. And we made our little super simple little Valentine's Day bow. I mean, I keep saying Valentine's Day instead of St. Patrick's Day. And now let's bring Joette back over here. And she'll remind you of the two projects she made. Yes, I was, uh, let me find, there we are. I went ahead and fluffed this out and look so how pretty. cute it turned out. Yeah, and then we made this lantern swag. Let me get it where you can see it. And then we made this door swag to match the other one for double doors. Well, that's it. So thank you everybody so much for joining us and we'll look forward to seeing you next week on our live. Remember it's every Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central and 7 Eastern. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye everybody. Whoops, I have to find the thing to turn it off here and it's not. There we go.